Amid a growing appetite for Korean food, more foreigners are looking to learn how to cook their favorite Korean dishes. Lots of cooking classes targeting foreigners have been recently set up. Our Cha Yoon Kyung has this story. Foreigners residing in Korea are wearing aprons and putting red pepper powder, garlic, and plum marmalade into salted cabbage before mixing it all together. They're learning how to make kimchi. It was easier than I thought. I like this one, the cabbage one, pechu, and I also like the one that comes with fried chicken, the ones in the cube, the radish ones. Foreign exchange students from the U.S. also made special memories by tasting the kimchi they made. Um, I think so. I think I'll try to make it for my family. Um, this is my second time being in Korea, so it was nice to get to like actually do this this time. I would love to try to make kimbap or bibimbap. <laughs> I, I hope I can watch some videos and also use this, this experience to try to recreate the flavor that we did today. This is a cooking class held in the Kimchi Museum. About 14,000 foreign tourists visited here last year, 40 percent higher than pre-pandemic levels in 2019. There were four months this year when more than 1,000 foreigners applied for kimchi-making classes. There are lots of questions about kimchi ingredients like plum marmalade or where to buy salted seafood. Nowadays, lots of foreigners already have knowledge about various kinds of kimchi and make inquiries. Food companies are establishing experience programs for Korean food, targeting foreigners interested in K-food. One place opened a cooking class making kotori and kimbap following a request from U.S. university students. A cooking studio by a different food company also holds a Korean food class given in English and Japanese. Rather than simply enjoying food-related videos known as mukbang, foreigners are now learning how to make Korean food by themselves. Cha Yoon-kyung, Arirang News.